Welcome back to my channel everyone. I'm Charles from Charles and Photography and thank you to all those who are watching my tutorials on the Nikon free editing software NX Studio. I've done an introduction to NX Studio. I've done one about how to edit a landscape image and today using NX Studio I'm going to be showing you how to edit a nightscape image, an image of the Milky Way. Now I'm also going to be doing one on wildlife and I'm going to be doing another NX Studio tutorial on landscape but this time it'll be a cityscape to show how easy it is to control the verticals in NX Studio if you're shooting with an ultra wide lens. But today we're going to be editing a Milky Way image so let's jump right into it. Now this image was taken on the foreshore of Lake Somerset quite a few years ago and I called these three trees the three amigos because about a kilometre either way these were the only trees standing. So let's start editing this by increase our exposure compensation to brighten the image up so that we can actually see what we're working with. Now remember that NX Studio is a little bit slow to catch up for all those who are saying it's a bit slow. I understand that but it's free software so I just put up with it. So we just slowly increase it there. That's about as much as I want to increase it for the time being. So now we can see what we're working with. We're going to adjust our color temperature or white balance. So I can actually click on the eyedropper here and let's see if I click on the, the center of the Milky Way here. We click on it. Okay, that's a little bit too warm. I'll come back instead of saying using, well, I'll give it another try. I'll select a tree because I know the tree was quite gray. There, that actually looks very close to what we shot at the start but I just want to add just a little bit of tint to this image. Not too much. There, that looks quite nice. Now I'm not really looking too much at editing the Milky Way here. At the moment I'm going to start by editing the whole image globally so it has a whole and then once I'm done that I can actually come back and concentrate just on the Milky Way core. So we're going to use active delighting here and we're going to select normal. Can you see how it actually just popped out the image a bit? Now I'm not going to be using all the tools here. I'm only going to be using the tools that I need to edit this image. If you want to see how all the tools in here work then look back in my previous video of a comprehensive guide to NX Studio. I actually quite like active delighting and if it was available in your Nikon camera you'll have it here even if you didn't use it when you took the photo. So we see we have low, normal, high. You see like high has actually popped it out a bit too much. So we'll come back to normal. There, quite like that. Now I can just close that panel up and you can see remember that all the little yellow tick boxes here this is the editing panels that you've used. So if you want to see what it looks like without that editing panel all I have to do is just unclick and you can see how much the active delighting has actually helped this image. Now the brightness is okay. I'll add a little bit of contrast. Not too much. There. I'll saturate the image a little bit because it needs it. There. Now I'll increase the shadow protection which is basically just dragging my shadows up. That's it. Now by the way this image was taken with a Nikon D750 and a Rokinon 14mm f2.8 lens. This is why the trees look like they're bent in because we're actually quite close. We're only about five meters away from these trees. Now I'll bring back some highlight protection and the reason I'm going to do this is where I'm circling down here it's actually quite bright due to light pollution. So when I bring back the highlight pollution, sorry, when I bring back the highlight protection, drag it all the way across there. It just blends this area down a bit. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to reduce the exposure just that little bit. It's just a little bit too bright for me. There. It is a nighttime image so I don't want it like a date. I don't want it to have a daytime feel. Now delighting highlight. There. Look at that. Um, when, the more I slide can you see the more of the foreground I'm bringing in but the exposure is increasing as well. So sometimes it's a bit you adjust a slider then you might have to go back and readjust one of your previous sliders. So I never rush when I edit my images. I just take my time. Bring back the highlight. I'll bring back the shadows a bit. 
there. Now I can see that I've got a slight tilt in the image here so I grab the straight horizon tool, grab it like that, grab the left edge, drag it all the way across and let it go. There. That hasn't quite worked. Sometimes it takes a couple of goes. Give it another go here. There, that's it. That's much better. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so the next one now we're going to use is the Levinson curves. And we can see here, I'll close this one here to make it much simpler. We can see we've got a nice curve here. Now I'll grab about halfway through my shadows here because that's where all the detail is. And I'll drag it down a bit. There. You see it's just dimming down a little bit now and then I'll grab where my highlights are and just drag it up a little bit. If I drag it down, actually dragging it down is actually making it look quite good. It's got this weird S curve but now can you see that the, the sky in the foreground is actually quite blended. That looks really good. Now I can actually affect a single color if I want because at the moment you can see current is RGB so we're affecting the red greens and blues it's a bit bluish so if I come up here and just click blue now I can actually just grab the blue and drop it down a bit and this will desaturate the blues there that looks much better although it's night time it doesn't have to be that blue so that looks really good now we come back to all the RGB I'll just Bring the gamma up a little bit. No, down the other way. That's it. That looks quite good. Remember the Milky Way is a bit flat, but we'll get to that. Okay, so we'll need just a little bit of noise reduction. Just slide it up a little bit. Not too much because it actually softens the image up quite quickly. There. And here, can you see where it shows Astro Noise Reduction? We can just click on that. Now the sharpness, we'll increase the sharpness just a little bit. There. Now I'll just crop the image a little bit before we go any further. So I just drag where I want to crop it. There. Now you don't have to keep it a 6x4 format because see there's a lot of that foreground here which is just nothingness. So I'm actually going to put the edge of Lake Somerset right in that bottom left hand corner. That looks really good. That's it. Click enter. That's it. Beautiful. So before I edit the Milky Way, I'm just going to add a little bit more saturation across the whole image. There, that looks very good. Now let's work on the Milky Way. So we come up here to this tool here. This tool is like a, a radial filter in Lightroom. So I just click on the center of the Milky Way. I want the width here, so I just shrink it down a little bit, add it right in the center. Once I've actually finished editing this area here, I will just copy this across the whole image. We'll increase the saturation, give it a bit of contrast, there, put a little bit of red into the image. Can you see how nice it's coming now? Reduce the greens, add a bit more blue, and we'll add some warmth. There. Now, we'll reduce the brightness just that tad. Now, what I do is just right click on it and say duplicate. There it is there, and grab it up here, duplicate again. Now, I drag this one down here but can you see it it's very big so we'll just shrink it down a little bit there we'll duplicate the game just for the bottom part here there now down here I'll actually add a little bit more contrast there add some more contrast on this one here there that's it unclick the tool and look at that we've actually highlighted the Milky Way quite a lot without affecting the whole image. Now if I had added a lot of contrast to the whole image it would have actually affected the stars and would have brought a lot of noise to the rest of my image. So now this tool would actually be quite good when you're photographing the moon so that you're not editing across the whole black area of your frame you're just editing the moon so you just draw a circle across the moon. There now I'm pretty happy with that I'm just going to go back for the whole image now I'm just going to add a bit more contrast not much and my active delighting, let's see if I bring it to high. No, I'll bring it back to low. Sorry, bring it back to normal. That's it. This is such a nice image. So this is all the editing I need to do for this image. Now, I will actually come up here to right up the top here where it says current. Now, if I unclick the yellow tick box here, it will actually show what the raw file looked like. 
before we edit the image. So I'll click on it. So as you can see, there is a big difference between the raw file and the edited version. So now that we're happy with our image, all we have to do now is save our image. And just like Adobe Lightroom, we actually don't save it, we export it out of NX Studio. So we go to the top right up here, click export, and here we choose the format we want. Do we want JPEG? Do we want TIFF? I just want JPEG. want the quality to be at 100%. And because I'm only going to share it on social media, I just want the image to be 2048 pixels in width. If you don't want to compress the image, then just unclick it here and it will keep it to the full size. And then we just say, where do we want to save the image to? So a specific folder. So I can go browse and I can come up here. This is where I wanted to, to save it to. Original image, edX Studio, edit a Milky Way photo, select, and we just click export. And down the bottom left here, you can see exporting the image. And that's it. Now I hope this video tutorial has given you some practical ideas of how to edit Nightscape images and in particular Milky Way images. And keep an eye out for my next tutorial using NX Studio, which will be a wildlife image. And then in the near future, I plan to do another landscape image, which will be a cityscape. So if you've found value in this video tutorial, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.